Praise the Lord. Loving greetings I extend to all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank and praise the Lord for giving us this precious few minutes to spend in the presence of God. Let's turn to Psalm 107 for a small devotion on the topic Gratitude for Deliverance. In this psalm, we read multiple times about the importance of giving thanks to the Lord. First verse says, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Verse 8 says, O oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. This verse in 8 is repeated few times in this psalm. So that shows how important it is for the people of God to praise and thank God. our lord jesus for delivering us from our sin that is what the psalmist here says in verse 2 let the redeemed of the lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy for his mercy endures forever the lives of israel is explained in this chapter of Psalm. When they were in the wilderness, their lives are similar to ours. They were gathered from every corner of the earth and God chose them as his own people. But they were wandering in the wilderness, suffering many afflictions from the God Almighty due to their constant sins and rebellion against God. We also wander in this world, beloved sisters. facing physical and spiritual miseries due to our own mistakes which sometimes the lord allows in our lives because he loves us israel cried out to the lord in their distress verse 6 when life is physically and emotionally draining we should go to our merciful god also crying out with all our heart all people wander away from the lord but when they repent and turn back to god he forgives them and brings them into his fold like israel we were also in spiritual hunger and thirst were disheartened and discouraged the lord delivered us when we trusted in him and repented of our sinful ways he has led us this far and he shall lead us and take us home to the promised land the heaven to be with him forever just as He has led the Israel to a city of their promised land instead of wandering in the desert. Also, just as Israel did, as we read in here, we have also behaved like fools in our sins and have faced disciplinary actions from our loving Father. He allowed afflictions in our lives too. The Lord showered mercy to us when we cried out to Him in repentance. He himself took our sins and the punishment and he died for us on the cross shed his blood this is the first and the foremost important reason that the children of god the redeemed ones should thank the lord god almighty for sacrificing his own son the lord jesus christ for our sake however When people consistently rebel against the Lord God Almighty and intentionally reject the Lord Jesus Christ, He brings a judgment and destruction upon them with no escape from it. In the millennial kingdom, when the Lord reigns, He shall reverse the worst conditions to blessedness. Those who trust and obey in Jesus shall enjoy everlasting peace. What a great promise and privilege. for children of god if anyone listening to this devotion from the word of god has not repented of your sins and trusted in jesus in his sacrificial death for your sins may i humbly request you 
to repent and come to him. Ask Jesus to give you a new life. If living, rejecting Jesus from your life, repent of your sinful ways. Invite Jesus into your life as your Lord and your Savior from sin. He shall give eternal peace and joy. Apart from Jesus, dear my listener, no peace. You will still be wandering in this world the rest of your life, hungry and thirsty, looking for lasting peace. Come to Jesus. Cast all your burdens to him. He shall forgive all your sins and receive you as his own child. Right now, right at this moment, come to him. Time is now. Tomorrow may never come for you. Repent. Turn away from sin and turn to God. Come to Jesus and enjoy his everlasting peace. May God bless you. Those of us who are believers in Christ, dear my sisters, may we keep trusting him and follow our Lord faithfully and in obedience. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people of God say, Amen. Praise the Lord.